Hi guys! This tutorial is going to explain the SpinFX scripting features. First, I'm going to explain scripting. The Phoenix Hoop can be scripted to create complex choreographed performances, but it's really not that complex. This means you can decide the length of time and order for each pattern on your hoop. And if you're performing to a specific song, for example, you can have it go along with the song. You can visit our scripting tool on the website to easily create your own script. Just drop the patterns you want on the timeline and generate your file to upload to your hoop. And here's what the final file would look like. If you want to create a script on your own, you can use a text edit or a notepad to create a text file .txt. All commands known to the operating system can be used in a script. The format is a simple timecode, followed by the command to run at that time, which would be your pattern. An example format, hhmmssmmm, where hh is hours, mm is minutes, SS is seconds, MMM is milliseconds. The first few lines of the script should be like this. We have them here highlighted in red. Zero, set brightness to 255. Still at zero, map IR underscore AVTV to quotation marks that have nothing in between them. And finally, here at zero, map IR underscore power to quotes load underscore config, end quote. The reason for this is to set brightness to the max and to remap the AVTV button to nothing so that if it's held for a few seconds, it doesn't continually restart the script. Once your script.txt file is complete, drag and drop it to your hoop drive while the hoop is connected to your computer and turned on. Next, you will have to create the command for the remote to play the script when you press a button. In the settings file, you'll want to map the remote commands like this. The power button will load the configuration and AVTV will restart the script. Set the script name as script.txt. We highly suggest using that name. I want the hoop to start on a solid green color so I know it's waiting before I go for a performance. So, I'll add the solid green pattern to the hoop and then command it to play that first at the bottom of the settings.config file. So be sure to have the proper settings file, script file, and patterns loaded onto your hoop for the script to work. Then, when I'm ready to start the show, turn on the hoop, my green lights will light up, I press and hold the AVTV button on the remote until the hoop responds and it begins the script. Then you rock it. <laughs> Choreo mode is an amazing feature that allows for multiple Phoenix hoops to synchronize the timing of their patterns. That means you can choreograph the pattern display to a song of your choice for performances with one or multiple hoops. You'll follow the same instructions for the scripting of the hoop we just reviewed. Upload exactly the same files to each hoop device. Here, I've uploaded my settings.config file, script.txt file, and patterns to both of my Phoenix hoops. When I want to start the routine, I'll turn the hoops on. Then press and hold the AVTV button until both hoops respond and start the sequence in perfect timing. And voila! Stunning synchronized hoops, timed perfectly for a powerful visual show.